given community, there are different types of relationships, specifically symbiotic relationships. Today, we're going to focus on two different symbiotic relationships, mutualism and parasitism. Facultative mutualism is a relationship where both organisms benefit. However, these two organisms do not depend solely on one another. In this example of facultative mutualism, the flower benefits from the bee spreading the pollen, and the bee benefits by getting nectar from the flower to make honey. To make honey. There are other insects that are pollinators, so the flower does not depend solely on the bee to pollinate, as the bee can also travel to other flowers to receive nectar. Obligate mutualism is a relationship where both organisms benefit. However, the individuals cannot survive without the other, so the organisms are obligated to rely on each other. The lichen in this example consists of part algae or blue-green algae and part fungus. The algae or blue-green algae are photosynthetic and produce food for the fungus. The fungus then protects the algae from the elements, providing a home for it of sorts, as well as providing water and minerals for the algae. Parasitism is an example of a symbiotic relationship where one organism benefits, the parasite, and the or other organism is harmed, which would be called the host. In this example of parasitism, the cordyceps fungus is the parasite, which uses and ultimately kills the insect so that the fungus can spread its spores. The fungus uses the insect's body to grow, and the fruiting body of the fungus emerges from the dead body of the insect. We have looked at two different symbiotic relationships, mutualism and parasitism. So let's take a minute and review. Facultative mutualism benefits both organisms. Obligate mutualism benefits both organisms, but they are obligated to rely on each other. Parasitism is when the parasite benefits and the host is harmed.